whenever I'm out looking for work, I'm always running into people who say that I should go somewhere and volunteer. And they'll try to sell me on it saying that I'll get all of this work experience, I'll have references, and I'll have a credit to put on my resume. And what these people don't know is that they're insulting me by making this request for me to go volunteer someplace. I find, it, you know, they always come to the black man always talking about volunteering and working for free. Meanwhile, these same people will go out and open up their wallets to go hire a Mexican, a Arab, or an Indian, or an Asian person, and they'll, they'll be talking about price and salaries and how much things cost with these people, but when it comes down to black people, they want to see what they can get for nothing. And I feel that that's an affront, you know, to any working person or person looking for work like myself. For you to come and say, I need to give you something for nothing, and then you want to go to other people and say to them, hey, I want to pay you, that is the ultimate form of racism and discrimination known to man. For you to say that, oh, I, I can pay this Mexican, I can pay this Arab, I can pay this Indian, I can pay this Asian for services, but when it comes down to the black man, you want to come in here talking about they need to volunteer and they need to show me that they have they can you know contribute to the organization in some way. That's a slap in my face and a complete insult to me to, to, to come here with that argument. That argument does not wash with me. That argument doesn't fly with me. If you have money for those minorities, then you need to have money for this minority as well. And you need to bring the same offers to the table with the same price as you would for any other ethnic group. And it, it just is an insult, again, to say that, you know, you want this person to volunteer and show you how much of a good worker they are, and they have to show you that they can, you know, compete on their level. When the person has already got, you know, a track record of stuff, um, like the books I have published on Amazon, and showing the work ethic and showing the, you know, work rate and the showing the skills that I have to offer. I have to prove something to you when there are, you know, products available for sale on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and any other bookstore out here. I have to prove something to you. I have to show you what I bring to the table when I've already shown you what I bring to the table. When I can show you, you know, royalty reports with sales and I can show you a background, you know, in publishing. I can show you a background in writing. I can show you, you know, organizational skills, time management skills, leadership skills, um, PC skills, art skills. I can show you all these skills, you know, with my work, but I have to prove something to you. I can, I can bring stuff out on time, on a schedule for the last, what, six going on seven years, but I need to prove something to you by working for you for free. Get out of here with that crap. I don't want to hear that stuff. I mean, if you, if you can't see a person's value and think about, you know, bringing money to the table, that that's then we really don't need to have anything to talk about. And when I look at, you know, a lot of business people, when I go on, you know, interviews or I go out job hunting and they come out, they come up to me with this nonsense, you know, I, I it just makes me very, very, very angry when they come at me with this, talking about I need to work for somebody for free. Well, I'll, I'll tell you something. I work for somebody, you know, at, at this, uh, when I was doing AmeriCorps tw tw 15 years ago, now people said I did a great job there. And they were, then the whole thing is that, you know, I come in, they, they schedule me, you know, to have a lunch with the vice president, and I, this guy tells me he, I, he has not, there's no place for me in his organization. So that's really soured me on volunteering. And then the ultimate insult there was he has no place for me in his organization. Then he goes out and hires his friend who's been traveling around in Spain for the last two years. So the guy who has been working at this organization for the past year, learning the skills, learning the approaches, learning the business model... You have no place for him, but the guy who's been traveling around in Spain for two years, you have a place for him. And then you wonder, you know, why people like myself sour on volunteering or looking for, you know, trying to work with anybody like that. That's why I do not volunteer anymore, and that's why I do not do volunteer work. And that's why I really get really angry when people come to me talking about volunteering to prove something. I have nothing to prove anymore. All I'm doing, I'm going to do it like any other businessman does and says, this is what I'm bringing to the table, and if you want to buy it, you buy it, and if, you've, and if you're going to, if you want to consider buying it, you better have your money on the table. I have no time 
for jokers and clowns looking for freebies um, when it comes down to services and services being rendered. When it comes down to services and, you know, working for somebody else, I'm looking to get paid. I'm not looking to fool around. I'm not looking for, you know, somebody trying to get something for nothing. If you have if you have money to bring to the table, we can talk. But if we have, if we have no money to bring to the table, I have no I have no real interest in dealing with you. There is I do not do volunteer work. I do not do freebies, and I do not you know do stuff something for nothing. There is not going to be any something for nothing with me. And you know, I, I I whenever I hear people telling me with this, you know, it just makes me a very angry man, and I get really frustrated with it because. All I see is somebody trying to get something for nothing and somebody trying to screw me over. And I have no interest in trying to brown nose someone to try to give you free work in the hopes that you give me a job where you try to play this dangle the carrot game with me. The way I see it again is if you're going to come, if you want business, if you want to talk business, then you better again bring your money to the table to do business because I have no time for games. I have no time for nonsense. And it's, it's, it's just going to be about the money when it comes down to business. You bring you bring the money to the table, and I will bring and I will deliver services. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.